So I've been playing with this just to uh, see if I can find some some place uh, on the body here where the uh, the beam would be uh, dead center on my lathe, and it appears that the flat is on top. I don't know if you can see that or not, and uh, <clears throat> my gauge is at a right angle to it, right here, and it is zeroed. I showed you that before, so. I'm going to try to use. I can't. I can't use the flat on my uh, machine. I have to be at a right angle, and I'll show you why. I realize you can't see a lot here, but the uh, laser is. Uh, hitting the uh, tape and um, the flat on the tool is facing rearwards <clears throat> okay so this is my uh, strategy here I've got the tool <clears throat> locked down in my vise this is uh, my mill mini mill and uh, this is the method I use to find the center of a um, cylinder. Uh, you know, I, I have other tools to do that, but this is a quick and easy way, and, and it does a pretty good job in most cases for simple stuff like this. All you need is something with a point on it, a steel ruler, and I should say that the tool is chucked up in the vise here with the flat on on this uh, on the face of this vise here, okay? And what I'm going to do is find uh, the top of it, which is 45 degrees from that flat. And uh, <clears throat> I'm either going to make my own flat or I'm going to put a dimple where my set screw will um, uh, sit into to lock it in when I'm doing alignment. So what I'm going to do here now, though, you see how this works? you got to be careful with this. It's going to work like a seesaw to find the center of the uh, cylinder. It's uh, not, not down far enough yet, and also I didn't lock it. Uh, it's probably the tip is uh, pushing up into... I got to uh, lock this down. I didn't think I had to, so I, I didn't bother, but I guess I do. Where's my wrench? Sorry about all the shaking. Don't have tripod here in the garage. So, okay, lock down. I'll bring my Z down a little bit. I was just touching the ruler, and then this is my y-axis. I'm going to move the y-axis back and forth and watch for the ruler to become level. See it? When it's level, like that, you found the center. That's about there. That's about right. Close enough for the government, as they say. So we're going to pull this back up. Oops, I always go the wrong way. Pull back up. And now I have a decision to make. I can either put my Sharpie in this chuck and make a line so that I, I don't machine anything I don't have to, or I actually go for it and put a dimple in there, or put another flat, put a flat in there. So uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, well my Sharpie idea didn't work because I can't fit it in a chuck or a collet. So I'm going for broke here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to machine a flat <coughs> into uh, into this thing. Uh, 45 degrees from where the uh, uh, factory flat is. And hopefully that's going to allow me to move on. I just realized too, by the way, I have to, so I don't get the flats mixed up here. 
this is the original flat down here. I'm gonna make sure I mark it. I don't think I'm gonna make mine as wide as theirs anyway, but I'm just gonna machine a, a short flat here. Or it should actually be down here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll make it across the whole top of it. Uh, but um, the place where it really matters is down here. This is where the lock, my lock screw is anyway. It'll clamp down on that. All right. Wish me the best. Okay, so got a flat machined in at 45 degrees of the factory flat, and uh, hopefully uh, that'll do it. I'll let you know.